What's going on guys, Josh here from Momentum Productions and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make 360 degree roll angle movements with your DJI Ronin S gimbal. 360 degree roll rotation allows you to capture some of these similar shots that you would see in the movie Inception. It's obscure, it's abstract, it disorients the audience, and overall, this style of shooting just looks badass. You don't wanna make your audience too dizzy, but you do want to disorient them in some certain scenes. Now, before you continue with this video, make sure that you're subscribed with notifications turned on. That way, you know exactly when I release new tutorials or any other content. Now, when you get the Ronin S, you are not going to be able to achieve this straight out of the box. There are some settings that we have to set in the DJI Ronin app first. So here's how you do it. Launch the DJI Ronin app, then connect to the gimbal. Tap on configuration. At the top of this menu, select the user profile. One, two, or three. This is exactly the same as choosing shooting modes on the gimbal. One, two, or three by hitting the M button. Then go to control settings, channels, then go down to channel three. Channel three is specifically targeted to control or change the settings of the joystick. Tap on roll, then hit the back button. Now you're all set. Your gimbal will now do the 360 degree roll movement. If you want to change the speed or rate of the roll movement, tap on motion, max speed, and you can either customize the speed or tap any one of these presets. Once you've done that, make sure that your gimbal is set to that shooting mode that you set in the gimbal app. Then hold your gimbal like a flashlight, double tap the front trigger, and now you can use the joystick to make the gimbal go in a roll 360. Just like that. Now I also did notice that if you slightly hold the gimbal up at an incline, it will not perform a full 360 roll. So make sure that you hold it perfectly straight. There we go. And the joystick is speed sensitive, so it all depends on how hard you push it to the left or to the right. And that's gonna determine your speed of your 360 roll. Once you're done with that shot, hold the gimbal upright, double tap the trigger, and your camera will recenter. Now here are some tips to remember. Make sure that you use the gimbal ninja walk, knees slightly bent, heel to toe. And to really pull off this shot, make sure that you're shooting in let's say a narrow area, like an alleyway, or for example, this shot here, I shot in Armando's car and this shot came out really nice. If you want smoother movements, smoother shots, try shooting at a higher frame rate because that will save you in post-production. So how did I do this shot? Well, both Armando and I pitched in. I handed him the gimbal and he continued the movement throughout the car. I shot at 120 frames per second just so we can get a little bit more smoothness because handing off a gimbal is not easy. With enough practice, however, you can definitely do it. But for us, it was our first time trying out the shot and I think it came out pretty well. I want you to take a look at my stance. Take a close look here. Notice how I arch my back. That allows me to get closer into my body, making a much more solid foundation. That way you get a stable shot. And for a majority of these shots, I don't breathe. Why? Because when I breathe, my chest expands. So that might add a little bit more vibration or shake to your footage. If you need to breathe, breathe. But if you can hold it in, hold it in because you're gonna get much more stable shots. By the way, big thank you and shout out to Armando for Monobytes, so make sure you check out his channel. He does a lot of great stuff there. If you wanna learn how to properly hold, run, walk, or just use a gimbal, I strongly suggest that you check out my gimbal tutorial videos right here. They are definitely going to help you out. One of my favorite tutorials, which I think is something that you must watch, is this one right here because it's going to show you how to properly use telephoto glass and you'll still get extremely smooth footage. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.